Yeah. Okay, so it's here now. Okay, so there it is. Yikes. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be unboxing the Evo 2. One and two. We have the one sitting right over there. See it? It's hiding. Anyway, here's the Evo 2. So we're going to take a look at it. There it is. Then the transmitter and the power supply, and that's about it. And some stuff, you know, the stuff. Some props and extra, extra stuff. I did want to show you one thing about this. If you didn't, if you had a regular Evo, and then this, you, at first glance, these are identical, these power bricks, but they're not. Um, this one here is pumping out uh, 66 watts max and the other one is pumping out 50 56 or 50 something around in that area they are not the same even though they look identical you have to get in here and read these read these numbers to see the differences so i would not use the charger from uh you know, for the older one, I would not put the battery on this new charger because I think it's going to put out more more power. You could probably charge the new battery on the old one because it's not going to be putting out as much as much power. So, you know, you just would be slower charging. But this one, you could possibly overcharge and short the battery. So, you know, if you're going to do something like that, it's always best to go lower because if you put too much power into it because it, it you know it might not have one of those like regulators to stop you know the amount of current going in so i just wanted to get that out of the way right off the bat these adapters are not the same they are not identical so we got that out of the way <laughs> so now we can go on to the quad coppers and they do look different there's no doubt about that other than this one is way larger I mean you could just see the difference there how much larger this one is and if I put the scale up here just for a quick just for a quickie and the the gimbal gar, uh, covers are still on there so it's gonna add a couple extra grams to it but if you put it on the scale this one here is at 892 grams. And then this one is at 1157 grams. So this one is significantly bigger. So I'm going to take this goop off here because I actually <laughs> have not done this yet because of course you saw the beginning of the video. The blizzard is out. The blizzard is out there. Excuse me. But I'm not going to leave you hanging. I am going to take it in the bedroom in the back and, you know, turn it on and, and raise it up. You know, let it take off in the back room. Got the gimbal guard off. There's the camera. There's all your sensors on the bottom, your sonar, your optical flow, all that good stuff. Here's your battery in here and that's a 7100 wow that's big i think that's the first time i ever seen one that big a 7100 that's huge over here is your little micro sd port and then on the other side is going to be for your micro sd card right there I like the the feel of this plastic it feels better than that. That was that one seemed to be more brittle. On this one it was harder to get that door open. On this one the the door for the SD card was very hard to pick open. I didn't like it. I, I couldn't stand that. There's some sense there's some um, plastic on this top sensor here. So I'm going to remove that. It says remove before use. 
Yeah, this thing is quite large, actually. I didn't know it was going to be this big. But it's... It's beefy. This thing feels like a brick. I don't think there's anything over the camera. There's no plastic. But there is... I think there is some right here, though. It looks like there might be. Yeah. Right here. Over this front right here but there are none on the sensors yeah it's nice man real nice nice build nice build quality wow feels solid real solid just show you the transmitter which is no big deal I think it's the same exact transmitter as the other one but I gotta take it out of here anyway to take it off I'm not going to hook up the app or anything like that, so there's the transmitter here. Now, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same as the other one, but it sure as heck looks like it. Which, I did like the transmitter, except I just didn't like the grips. I never was a big fan of these grips. They collapsed real easy while you were holding it and flying it. I didn't care for that. But, yeah, you get used to it. You know, it's not a deal breaker. Now let me just go into this little box here real quick. <clears throat> yeah, then you got some props, a USB cord. Um, and then those cables to hook up your phone, which they don't give you the uh, lightning one, of course. So uh, you have to supply your own if you want to. If you have an Apple phone, then you got the manual, and I don't know safety instructions and a little cleaning cloth. You know. I'm just gonna turn the quadcopter on, let it initialize, and then I'm gonna turn on the controller, and then we're just gonna take it up in the. Uh, off the floor but because I do want to actually show you the bonus that I got from um, B&H photo for buying it from them they gave me uh, two uh, free uh, two freebies they threw in there so we'll go back and see them in a sec all right guys there it is this is what B&H sent me the world's largest landing pad which I know if Mark has seen that, he'd probably lose his marbles. And uh, they sent me this 128 gig uh, SanDisk Extreme micro SD card, which I'll put in there. And this landing pad, which uh, this thing is gigantic. And it's got, I don't know what you would call that in the, I don't know how in the heck I'm going to get it back in here. It came in this thing. Now how I'm going to get it back in there, I have no idea. Okay, let me start this up real quick. Now this is the first time of, that I am starting it, but I'm sure they started it at the factory at least once. The, turned it on and made sure it worked let's hope they did anyway I don't think I need to adjust the antennas any they've got tape on there still hit those buttons that's another thing I didn't like about this control those buttons are so easy to hit on the back you hit them constantly I don't think I have them programmed for anything okay it sells you the gimbal okay the gimbal is moving there so we'll put it back to zero let me check it yep it's moving I'm not recording any video or anything. And then the display on here, you see it's working. That display feature. 
so that's good we'll go back to the star point thing and then we'll fire it up and take off in here for a sec just to hear the motors run it okay pretty quiet let me check the display again Well, it's very stable. <clears throat> Boy, it sounds a lot... <clears throat> I think it's a lot quieter than the other one, to be honest. Doesn't seem to be anywhere near as noisy. <clears throat> All right. Looks good. Wow. Great stuff. All right. Flew like a champ. <laughs> it didn't go two inches. But, hey, it works. Who cares, right? All right, guys. There you go. Evo 2. Hopefully this weekend, this... Um, Snow will stop, and I'll be able to get out and uh, do something. I rearranged the drone room a little bit, so we got all this rearrangement going on. So, all right, guys, there you go. Yikes. All right, guys, have a nice day.